Well, at this point, you're probably wondering what's going on. Why don't we start from the beginning? I'm going to go ahead and answer the question nobody asks, and that is, how fast can you make a car go with a $99 lawnmower engine? I don't know. Let's find out. Now back in the day, Honda made this stupid looking car, but from what I can gather, this car was cutting edge technology for its time. Now obviously they put a lot of attention in the aerodynamics, and that pretty much accounts for the goofy looks, but there's also something else interesting about this car. Let's take a closer look. When I put this perfectly good magnet up to the side of the car, well, it just falls to the ground. Hmm. Turns out the car is made entirely out of aluminum and plastic. I did the math, and it takes over 35,000 beer cans to make one of these cars. That's a lot of beer. Anyway, Honda probably built one of the lightest cars in our modern time, but we can make it lighter by getting rid of a lot of useless stuff. Alright, well that should give our lawnmower engine a fighting chance. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what makes this car move. This is kind of a unique setup. It's a combination 5-speed transmission and CVT drive. For those who don't know, the CVT stands for Continuous Variable Transmission. So basically the car has two transmissions. I'm using the CVT drive to connect the engine to the 5-speed transmission, and this gives the little engine a huge mechanical advantage. The CVT drive is also known as a torque converter, and it's a popular drive system on go-karts and minibikes. The CVT system is actually a Comet 44 Magnum with a 7-inch driven pulley. What the? Hello? Yeah, speaking. Shh, everybody, it's the internet calling. Yeah, I'm still here. I, I see, uh-huh. Oh, uh, yeah, I already fixed that. Yeah. Okay, well, thanks. Bye. Well, that was awkward. Apparently, the 7 inch driven pulley is on backwards in this picture. And like I said, I already fixed that. So, uh, let me uh, give me a second here and let me fix this. Okay, and uh, here we go. Now, in this picture, you can get a better view of the chain and sprocket that goes to the input shaft of the transmission. And here we can see the full chain and sprocket system. The sprockets provide an additional 3.1 reduction ratio to the input of the transmission. The compounding transmission system is what makes it possible to use a 212cc engine to power this car. In today's video, we'll be using the stock $99 Predator engine to get some baseline performance data. Once we've gathered the data, we can then make plans on modifying the engine for more power. Ultimately, the goal is to get the car to go 50 miles per hour. We'll talk more about that in a few minutes, but first, let's see how fast this car will go. Now let's get some performance data.
Wow, zero to 30 miles an hour in 25 seconds. Holy cow, that's slow. Now, let's find top speed. Um, this might take a while. Well, there it is. Top speed with a stock Predator engine is 39 miles an hour. Now, all things considered, that really isn't too bad. Keep in mind, there was a lot more driving done that afternoon, but we only showed a few minutes worth. But don't worry, there'll be plenty of future videos. I have to admit, this car is a real hoot to drive. Basically, when you're behind the wheel, you have to give the car everything you got, and then some. This is definitely the coolest go-kart I ever built, and it's street legal, too. The compound transmission is the key to what makes this car special. As a matter of fact, the car easily takes off in third gear, and you can run it all the way up to 30 miles an hour before shifting into fourth gear. Now first gear is equally impressive, as it gives the car a lot of low-end pulling power. If the car was equipped with a hitch, I'm pretty sure it could pull a trailer no problem. But unfortunately, there's no hitch on the car. So, I did a little experiment. Now we do have a driver sitting in the Jeep for safety reasons, but the Jeep is in neutral. So yeah, I can pull a Jeep, and a trailer, and probably a lot more. Is this a joke? <laughs> no, it's for real. This is actually a serious project and a lot of engineering went into the car. Now look, the simple answer is, all we really did was put a small engine into a lightweight aerodynamic car. The unique transmission helps the little engine accelerate the total mass, but it has its limits. Trust me, no laws of physics were broken. The car is basically just a big go-kart. In this video series, our goal is to get the car to go 50 miles per hour. Obviously, the box stock 212cc engine just ain't gonna cut it. So join us as we take this project to the next level by modifying the engine for more power. The good news is there is a huge aftermarket of performance parts for this little engine. We will be modifying both the standard 212cc engine and the Hemi version. And then to top it off, we'll be dropping in the big block 420cc engine. Next time on Robot Cantina, we'll dyno test the box stock 212cc engine and find out how much power it really makes. You're not going to want to miss any of this. If you're still watching, you must have enjoyed the video. Do me a favor and click on the like button. And while you're at it, click on subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop a note in the comment section. Thanks for watching.